welcome back to the Just Because podcast, a podcast featuring all things cosplay. This cosplay podcast features me, Mangle Phantom, and also... Marmalade! Guess who's back? I'm back. She's back from a trip. Thanks, thanks for saving my spot Welcome for back. me. How great! I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the solo episode that Jeremy did, Oops, and also the collab with Jono. Oh. I think it was it was cool to see something a bit different. Something for a bit different. Bit. We changed it up a little bit. I wasn't sure if. Uh... I don't know, I know, some people would like it. Some was like, oh, I miss Maya too much. Aww. Maya, come back. I'm coming back. I'm here. She's I'm back. Here. She's back. She hasn't left off. <laughs> no, I promise I was gone for a good reason. I had lots of uh, creative projects that I was working on throughout my little, my last, I feel like, summer holidays for uni, which is kind of like start, a bit nostalgic. Because you start uni like next week. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that was my last summer break. Excited? If we, if we have that here in Australia. Excited? I'm very excited. Very excited. Ex- excited to start uni or excited that, oh. You want more break? Like, which one would you prefer? Oh, I'm ready to. I'm ready to go through uni and get it done, and and then never look back. <laughs> I don't, have, you, have, no. you, have you enjoyed university? Because you're doing uh, like film and creative yeah, studies or something. Yeah, right? I'm doing a fine arts bachelor degree in mm. film, which sounds so fancy, doesn't so it? Fancy, oh, wow. it does. But honestly, like, I've enjoyed it. It's been a creative. Like, I've enjoyed it for its creative process, Mm -hmm. but in terms of how much I've learned, you can definitely learn everything that I've learned uh, for free on YouTube. Just get that piece of paper. The paper that says, yes, you're certified. And, And... Especially in film, you get the network. You actually do the get the network. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Mm. Because you, especially you build it like relationships with other people in your cohort, which mm. is the most valuable thing that you can't get from, like, it'll take you years to do that naturally on your own. But yeah. if you enter into a cohort of other creative uh, people who are also interested in film, you might be very lucky and like form a production unit. That with those people that you could carry you out of you. Yeah, because like, yeah, you, you could you've make already your own kind of style with your music videos that you've done with mm. Mellow Power. You guys have kind of already used those connections yeah, to be like, hey, absolutely. we're going to do, do a cool thing. And yeah. everyone's like, hey, yeah, that sounds, that sounds Absolutely, great. we have. And probably the reason we could afford to do those things as well is because we could work with student filmmakers who cool. are much more affordable. And it's like also like, okay, we help you get stuff for your portfolio and then you help us make this music video for fun. So everyone gets like a piece of, you know, something they're Piece interested pie, in. That's yeah, cool. everyone walks away with something happy end of the day. But it's been great. Honestly, yeah, film degree, they get a lot of smack. Like, a lot of people are like, oh, what's more useless, a film degree or, you know, <laughs> you know, people throw it under the bus. But it's probably pretty useless from a point of I view, mean, but I can see the value in it. You well, can see the value look, in anything. As, as long as you feel like you got value out of, yeah. out of it, that's the main thing. Yeah. Because, um, you know, I'm, I'm not a film student. Yeah. I've got no. no idea. I taught myself how to use... On a video editing program and set up a camera and microphone yeah. and God forbid there's probably someone out there Half who's doing the a people, degree who's yep. like how do you set Half this up the people in that degree when I first started in first year had never touched a camera before they're had never it. touched an editing program before and now fascinating. they're going to be professionals now afterwards. they will have honed a certain skill That's of choice cool. I, f- I've, I feel like it's better to settle with well, one thing go go hard on one thing but I, something that I wish I had learned more in my film degree yeah. is cinematography and I feel like going into my third year now I've sort of missed the opportunity to do like do a cinematography role because obviously the cameras that you work with at uni Mm. they're kind of monsters they're kind of beasts they're kind of usually a little bit old tech as well so they're a bit clunkier they're not like our phones where they're like kind of compact yeah and auto like yeah well a lot of things like that the menu settings are hard to get into you don't know where certain like to set up a focus or they have they have tools for it like a zebra stripe do you know what a zebra, zebra stripe is? It's the stripe on a zebra. <laughs> <laughs> it is. You're not wrong. In the film world, though, it's like these funny lines that appear on things that are in focus, but it's only on a display. It's just to help you visually yeah, wow. see what's in focus. Okay. But trying to get to that in the menu settings sometimes, ooh, and trying to Good turn it luck. off sometimes. Ooh, not fun. Look, I got but- my, my brother's <laughs> hand-me-down DSLR from 2012 It's or going something. great. It's working it's well. It's beautiful. I love the... That's what I mean. I wish I had learned mm. or maybe experimented with like you've got a point and shoot is it a DSLR? It's a DSLR yeah. yeah I wish I'd experimented more with these lightweight cameras that are kind of easier to pick up experiment with film a little thing yeah. edit it together post on something like post TikTok post on something yeah yeah because I feel like nowadays I just kind of use my camera uh, my phone my phone I don't use a camera and I feel like you you, you lose a certain quality like it's a, it's very different You're have not you wrong. used You're a not camera wrong. before to film um, all look, your YouTube I've videos? only used yeah I've only ever used DSLRs but look put to your credit mm. I think we're lucky in that we do have our phones because the things that you can do with the phone now versus Mm. 10, 15 years ago is completely different. We we can take phone calls and play Snake 
I that, remember. I that was, was that was it. But I it's had, like oh, I had my own little Nokia if, brick. Yeah, if if I want to film something, no, I have to pull out my digital camera. Yeah. Um, and there's a separate device you had to yeah. kind of film, and even then, it was, you know, okay at best with the quality. So you yeah. had no choice. But to use DSLRs if you wanted something half decent for your cosplay. Yeah, but pictures. there's a certain like significance of that only being able to capture certain things, like especially with film. Yeah. If you're actually shooting on like 35 millimeter film, you only have a certain amount. That's true. And like a limited, That's true. and then it makes you more like sentimental about what you're shooting and the way you're shooting something. Because I don't know about you, you go to a concert now. How was Ed Sheeran? Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah, but last obviously week? Obviously, every single person <laughs> every had their single phone, right? Every single person had their phone. How many people are actually going to look back and watch that footage? Very, very and, few, And, like, yeah. are they going to watch one clip? Are they going to watch four seconds of that clip? Are they going to post it? Are they going to share it post it, it? If you want to film the full two-hour concert, what's the point of you going to the concert? Yeah. I figure out because... I feel like people have a tendency to just point and shoot and, like, film anything and everything yeah, these days. Whereas, so. like, if you own a specific film camera or, like, you know... It's you, a bit more your, special. Yeah, or even, like, a vlog camera, you know, something that's, like... Or GoPro. You're going to film yeah, things... that's true. Yeah, you're going to film things with a certain intention certain behind intention it. Certain intention purpose, to yeah. usually, like, look back on later as memories, but... It's interesting. It's just interesting. That's, I that's think cool that way. We'll pull back, because yeah. I, think, I think we got a little bit uh, over look, to some side. I don't know where we're th- going. That's but. what we were talking... <laughs> look, well, look um, that's what podcasts are all about. Yes, we actually had a small discussion today. I won't go too far on a tangent here. Mm-hmm. We are talking about podcasts earlier today, mm. and... Uh, was it? Because you said it's like, oh, you, you listen to some podcasts, and they're like, ugh. I asked Jeremy, yeah, I asked Jeremy if you listen to podcasts, and he's like, nah, I don't. I, which I find fascinating. You because might find fascinating, yeah. You host one, but you don't I, listen to any Same thing with YouTube. I don't watch YouTube videos. Mm. People's like, oh, what's your favourite YouTube? I'm like, I look, Really? I, yeah, like, I've You've watched... never fallen victim to the YouTube, like, spiral? There was a time like when, when I was going or... hard with YouTube, and I was making a video a week pretty consistently yeah, for about yeah. a year and a half. Um, I did watch, you know, some creds like you know, PewDiePie and H3H3. Okay. That was probably the H3H3 podcast, the first boys. podcast. The boys. Mm-hmm. Um, and my girlfriend at the time, again, she likes, uh, what, Max Mofo and oh, yeah. Filthy Frank and stuff Hell like yeah. that. So, He's yeah, still going, Max Mofo. They're, they're still going. Fellow they're, they're, yeah. they're doing their thing, right? But, Wait, so you just said two more males? Yeah, two more dudes. Uh, but, yeah, no. I've, no female creators? Uh, not that I can think mm, of, no. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. No, like, again, keep going, keep again, going. that was, that, I watched <laughs> that them for the age. regularly for about half a year to a year, but then I just don't watch content, I suppose. So, don't get me wrong, I, I support all my friends who are content creators. I yeah. look at their stuff, I'll give them those likes, I'll give them those comments. I feel like you'd be one of the few people who can, like, who can say that they are active in the cosplay community and probably not consuming a lot of internet content, right? I, so, yeah, because I, I feel like... It's so hard these days. I feel like it's everywhere. TikTok, well, Instagram. That's it. I think it's, so many it's really easy to, to consume because it's, it's convenient. It's right there. but And I, everybody's talking about everybody's it. Everybody's talking and about it. And that's where the community is It now. is. It is. Yeah. But I found... Because there, there was a time when I wasn't making anything and all I was just doing was consuming. Mm, but the mm-hmm. more I found, the more I consume, the less I create. And obviously I want to be a creator. Mm-hmm. So I can't really spend too much time... I, consuming, I, I, I see that point. Yeah. I've had that thought myself. But again, like we said in a few episodes ago, balance all everything things. in balance. Balance and all things. It's great to be able to look and see what other people are doing. I feel like that's where I've gotten a lot of my ideas to go, oh, yeah, absolutely. look at the way that they did that transition. Absolutely. Or look at the way that they did that voiceover with this. I could do that too. Yeah. Or the way they filmed something. I feel like for me, having consumed a lot of film is how I became literate in film terminology and a lot of like how to set up a certain shot is but just because you're so familiar with the way like it's good to know the rules and the foundations Absolutely. of a certain Absolutely. way of creating something of course then you can go off and break and bend those rules but it's really good to have a solid understanding of how understanding how it works yeah. like did you never ever watch a youtube video no, no you said you no, went I've, through I've, a, I've watched some a period of, cre- of consuming of consuming to yeah. then create to then create so I've, you were initially probably inspired initially inspired, by inspired and, and creating yeah. but you know if you're going to ask me, it's like, oh, what are some modern trends? I'm, I'm completely out, yeah, of, okay. I'm out of my reach. So you don't follow the, like trend cycles? I don't. It's interesting to yeah. me that you, so you've never found the creator online that you've like really connected with and wanted to follow throughout the years? It's really funny when you say that because when I say creator, uh, you say like, oh, do I admire their work? Do I admire them as well, a person? A person. Yeah. Do I admire what they stand for? Mm. And usually it's been one of those things, mm. but never all, all of them. them. So it might be someone, hey, I love your work, but they are completely rotten as a person. Or it's like, wow, like amazing person, 
I don't know what you do apart from, you know, just be a good person. Yeah. So there's nothing wrong with that either. Yeah. But there's been very... Well, you asked me, like, is there anyone I've followed? The yeah. answer is no. I, I haven't found anyone who's, like, amazing creator. I like them who are there as a human being. And, you know, I aspire to be someone like them because I feel like they're who I want to be just further down the track. I haven't really found anyone who feels like all of those three... Uh, bubble. So, because you might say it's like, oh, who's your favorite cosplayer that you look up to? It's like, yeah. oh, I definitely admire some cosplayers for their skills in certain regards. Mm. Um, some of them are good human beings, and some of them, you know, not so much. But you know, I think I can admire them for what they do, for the creatively as a cosplayer. But um, in terms of a creator, for me personally, saying, oh, this is my favorite, for certain reasons. Yeah, there's some, but favorite of all time. That's. I'm gonna actually have to think about that one. That's yeah. fair. Do, that's do you, fair. I know. Do you have someone that you can think of straight top of your head? You're like, yep, this person, my inspiration. <laughs> this is your time to do a shout out. Oh, honestly, I feel constantly every time I pretty much interact with any social media page, mm. I'm finding people that I connect with. But cool. it's very hard because it's a parasocial relationship. You don't always know what they're like as a person. It like is, yeah, it's maybe difficult. maybe they do display enough for you to get a gauge of whether you like them or not, yeah. personality wise. But I often find myself. Just seeing like a snippet of that person, obviously they don't showcase. I've got it, their it's, entire, it's difficult to yeah. kind of show genuinely who you are yeah. just online. But I feel like I, especially growing up, like as a teenager through high school, I used mm. to absolutely love watching, uh, you know, like other creators on YouTube, especially cosplay creators, and I could name, I could name them, I absolutely could name mm. them. Um, a lot of them don't create anymore, but yeah. uh, it's it's sad. But I feel like it's very, it was very easy back in the day to latch onto these personas because I think the way that they filmed a lot of their content was as if you were like included in their friend group kind yeah. of thing. and the way that they would talk to the audience and that they, they were really good at building a community do you feel again I'm, I'm not too familiar with it because I don't consume much but mm. in the same way streamers uh, mm. I guess that's the modern kind of vloggers I suppose which yeah are, excuse me more modern place bless you Excuse me, yeah, I'm so too much coffee. <laughs> okay. We're doing, doing coffee water? today. No, nah, nah, it's all good. Okay. It's all good. We are drinking coffee today. Coffee, because we are having a late start, mm. but uh, we're, we're just latching onto it. But, like, didn't you say the same way in which you felt like you were part of that community or the way they addressed the audience? Yeah. Um, I f- well, just what, exactly when you said that, I was like, mm. oh, maybe think, oh, that's what streamers do, I think. Yeah, in, it's in interesting. A way. Yeah. I've actually, no, the way I've connected with YouTube is for some reason so much easier than Twitch streamers. I actually have never really connected with any Twitch streamers. Yeah, right. But I think I might be unique in that because I know a lot of my friends and a lot of Melody Parade loves a lot of VTubers. Right. Yeah, right. like really like them. So they're clearly able to connect with them the way that I probably connected to YouTubers. Might be a bit <laughs> of nostalgia for me yeah. enjoying that content, but it's the same way that YouTube, it's like accessible whenever you're free and you can yeah. pause and you can come back whenever you want and whenever you're craving that, like, you know, that nostalgic nostalgia. feeling. You can or, just watch it in your own time. Or to and... be like, oh, I'd, I would wish I could be at a con right now, but we don't have any. I'm going to go watch someone else's con yeah. vlog. Whereas like a Twitch streamer, you have to be like, are they live yet? Are they live now? Or I, I got to be sitting and you have be to be ready doing it at their schedule. Yeah, on you their have time. to be. Yeah, but like I've never been able to fit that into to your honest. schedule. Yeah, right, no, yeah. I've never like found like occasionally because a lot of the J-pop, uh, Oz Idol scene do Twitch lives. Yeah, yeah. So those are the few times where I'll oh, okay, I know that that's happening at this time. I'll make sure I'm available. Yeah, right. But even like my good friend uh, Laura Kurara Fox does a lot of Twitch streaming. But I often find that I'll be like at dance practice and she goes live, and yeah. so I can't be there to support her. Whereas on a YouTube video, like you would, you've been posting YouTube videos, mm. I'm able to then watch that in my own time when I'm I'm f- finished off work. And I can leave a little comment, and that way it's like I was part of that, yeah, as well. Like I can feel like I'm following your journey as a as a, as a creator, possible, as a creator. Yeah. I can I can get a taste of. I already know a lot of what you have to say, but <laughs> it's just gonna sound like, like oh, I've heard this before. I need to watch yeah, it. <laughs> but like you know what I mean. Like whereas I haven't been able to figure out that parasocial relationship with Twitch, because and as well, like obviously it's not edited. Maybe I have a shorter attention span, where I prefer the like. You more need visual a, cinematic experience of a YouTube video where you're like taken along. If and it's going to be ten the minutes, it's going to be yeah. Those cuts. ten minutes is going to be very yeah. intentional. Whereas a stream, it's going to be an hour. Who knows? Of who knows what's going yeah, to happen? Exactly. Maybe that's what some people like. I don't the, know because I know I looked into streaming a little bit to see if I would want to. Do yeah, because I noticed you did do a couple of streams. Yeah, I did. I did. I gave did you it a like try. It? I I have some feelings on it. Some but feelings. I, when I was researching it, I found a bigger Twitch streamer called Ludwig, mm. very very famous. But the advice that he always gives out is to treat every stream like it is a YouTube video. And so I feel like 
uh, yeah, the same tactics are kind of being used or like a lot of creators on Twitch are just doing their streams that I think this is a really successful yeah. like strategy is to make their streams as entertaining or set up like a YouTube video where yeah. it'll be an establishing goal, uh, a consequence if they don't reach that goal, yeah. you know, the mission, they've got to have the stakes being like, if I don't get this by this, you know, there's going to be cool. a consequence. Yeah. Yeah. Cool to see them like carrying over that formula. I think it, it kind of... Because I remember you mentioned to me before in one of your streams that, all right, I'm going to have a, an objective for this particular video. See, I video. tried it out, yeah. And yeah, w- yeah. was it more engaging for you? Because you're... Because mm. I've, I've done streaming a little bit. It's not, mm-hmm. not a lot. Uh, and especially when it's just you and the stream and maybe you know three or four people who's kind of watching in the background or whatever yeah. it is, you've got to keep yourself entertained. Yeah. You've got to keep yeah. yourself entertained. And I mean, you are playing a game usually. Yeah, yeah. you're playing a game. It's yeah. typically what it is, unless you've found something else to stream. Yeah. Um, which is cool to watch. Mm. Uh, but I think having that objective probably really, really helps in... in it helped of, me, yeah, definitely. Having a framework and knowing you can, like, always cut back to that, yeah, original mission yeah. and remind people. Do you think it's something you enjoy and you'll go back to on a regular basis? Streaming? Streaming. No. no? I've decided not, not to. Not you? No. I think it's good that you kind of dip your toes in the water, though. I because... needed to try because I feel like it's like everyone... You can get so swept up and everyone's doing a certain thing and then you have this need... To okay, I should be. Doing I should this. try that. Maybe that's something that is for me. Yeah, and then people maybe put it off, and they're like, "Oh no, I'll wait till I'm this to do that." But you know, I think you really just need to like try something to see if you like it, yeah. to see if you enjoy it, and then if you don't, that's fine. You just move on to the next yeah. thing. And if you do like it, then you just do it, and it's like, yeah. oh, then you build it a little bit better for next time. Yeah, you build it better for next. But if time. you don't like it, you don't have to keep doing yeah. it just because everyone else is doing it. Yeah. I feel like I don't know. I see a lot of people. St- a lot of people stream now. It's a very competitive thing to do, and it's not as easy or as like calculated as a lot of other social media platforms yeah. can be. I feel like it's very hit or miss. Twitch streaming. Oh, yeah. just like any. You have to be so media. dedicated. So dedicated. No, very. But I've seen so many. I remember as well when I was doing research into Twitch. So many streamers said that would you rather have like always? I think like a hundred viewers on Twitch or every YouTube video get a thousand views on YouTube and. Every single one of these, like, 50 streamers all set the YouTube option. Yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. I think time well spent on YouTube. I don't know. But well, maybe I'm just in love with yeah. YouTube. Well, look. We, we live on YouTube, We live on we? YouTube. It's something you grew up with and something you No, can... I mean the podcast. Oh, yeah. This video right now is on YouTube. This? You're probably watching this on YouTube. <laughs> maybe you're listening to it on your favorite podcasting platform, uh, Spotify. Spotify. Speaking of, um, speaking of which, our podcasting platform... So... I love stats. This is one of the things I loved when I did YouTube and how I got hooked on it. Statistics. Statistics. Was I good at maths? I was I was not bad. Not bad. Do you mean bad. you mean the analytics, right? Analytics. It's not the statistics, it's the analytics. Well, the st- analytics are statistics in this case. The statistics yes. of your YouTube views, yeah. right? So yes, analytics. We'll yeah. go with analytics. But um it's very cool to kind of see whenever you're creating something just exactly how well it's doing in certain ways and video content is a different to um, you know, photographs, for example. So mm. on Instagram or something, you'd get likes or comments or shares. But obviously in, saves. in video... Oh, and saves. Yeah. yeah, saves. And YouTube, it's, oh, watch time or audience retention or the, the type of person watching it. Um, and so I took a little watch of our YouTube Please don't YouTube be scared. Jeremy doesn't know where you live. I don't know where you live. Not at all. Not at all. It's very You're broad. You're going to scare them away. It's very general. They're all clicking off the video right now. No. Please don't. You're part of our community and we love you. We welcome you in. We just want to know which country you're from. Uh, so on YouTube, uh, a good portion of our viewership is Australian. Yes. Aussie. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah. On Spotify mm. or our, on podcast and download platforms, um, Australia Australians are still number one, but very close behind are our US audience. Mm-hmm. In fact, I think this month and last month, we had yeah. more downloads in the US than we did. I mean, the population there is far, like, four times bigger four than times ours, bigger, isn't it? Yeah. Something? I don't know the so, exact amount, but I'm pretty sure they have such a bigger population. Such a big population us, so. and uh, probably yeah. very well. Like, I, I don't listen to podcasts. Mm. You listen to podcasts, obviously. I but I don't know how many people in the country, well, 25 million people, how many listen to podcasts. I've got no idea. In Australia? In Australia. Yeah, I don't know. You'd have to look at the statistics. Look at, oh, I could probably find those things out. You like, definitely oh, yeah. could. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, have you found the podcast journey so far? Because we're up to episode 17. This is episode 17. Is it really? 17. I skipped a few, so You, you skipped like... two, right? I've been here for every single you one sure so far. sure have. Wow. Thanks, thanks for me. No, it's no. fine. You'll catch up. There's going to be I a time when maybe I'll be absent. 
Do you reckon you'd ever do a solo podcast? Break into your house. I mean, you don't have to use my <laughs> equipment. You can use yours. But it looks so great, and you have everything. <laughs> well, we've, we've done it. We've done one we've of your seen, place before, seen. right? I think I think I'll, I'll do YouTube videos, but I don't know if I'll do a oh, solo, solo podcast. podcast yeah. I feel like I've always wanted to kind of talk about like the J-pop idol world, but mm. I feel like I'm always feel like I'm uneducated enough, even though I'm literally living it. Like <laughs> you're living that J-pop. Um, Idol I, yeah, lifestyle. Yeah, I like I always still feel like I'm uneducated, uneducated enough, but who knows if I ever will be. But I found that our podcast journey has been pretty cool because it, if you look back at the early episodes and when we actually started, mm. what it was like mid year or August or something last no, year. No, no, we, we, it's towards the end of last year. Towards the end of last yeah. year. Anyway, but I look back and I already see like how much. Personally, I've grown a lot in that short amount of time. It's kind of crazy in a few months how far I've progressed in terms of, like, personally, my mental health is doing a lot better. I don't know if I'm the glad. podcast has I'm anything glad. to do with it, but it's been cool to, like, track that. We can <laughs> vent at least an hour a week. I gr- yeah. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> it's great. I'm surprised that we can still talk and have great social chemistry. I think it's fast, like it's fantastic. <laughs> well, fantastic and fantastic. I'd hope so, because yeah. otherwise, we're like, you look, well, we gotta, we got to renegotiate this Japan. cosplay partnership. we got to go to Japan together. <laughs> oh, okay, look, no, but look. it's been good. It's been cool. I'm I think glad. Uh, it's been. A, I was really excited to experiment with a new kind of platform because I've never done a podcast or long format content before yeah, right. ever. So I was very excited and nervous to be like, oh god, how do we talk for like an hour? But it's been really cool. I like it. Well, I like it so far. The first one, two, three. I, I look back on those um, mm. episodes every once in a while. The uh, we're a lot more comfortable in front of the microphone. That's number one. Cause oh, now. Now. Because oh, back then okay. I'm like, mm, what do I look? Do I look at you? Do I look at the camera? <laughs> do I look at do I look at both? Yeah. How how loud should I talk? Maybe I shouldn't yeah. do this. But now I'm just like, yeah. let's go. <laughs> Throwing the papers and everything. Yeah. Well, that's just part of the, it's part of the, the performance, I'll performance. say. Part of the performance. Do you feel that you're performing? Uh, no, not, that's not good. really. Or did you used to feel? I think when I first got in front of a camera, yeah. absolutely. The mm. very first video I ever made, never forgot because my parents gave me some flack for it. Because mm. it was quite literally, go back to my YouTube, I'll link the video here if you want. Yeah. It's called Being a Cosplayer When Your Parents Are Asian. Oh, I know this one. Yeah. Yep. Um, I, oh, okay. I, I did play into stereotypes a little bit, yeah. right? But, but that not- was a thing back then, like Chani, do you remember Chani yeah, was yeah, making? I, yeah, I took some inspiration from Chani, yeah. no, not going to lie. Um, the B plus, B plus yeah, again. Yeah, B plus. How do you do that? You cosplay. What you doing, right? Um, but yeah, no. So that was the first video I made, and I don't forget the first time I kind of did it as mm. well. Um, I, all my relatives for some reason were watching it as well because maybe it's like, oh, one of our cousins or my nephew is is making video content. Why? That's cool. Yeah. So the next party I went to I had a couple of uncles and aunties like, hey, I saw that video, made, which was really funny. I'm like, yeah. Oh, you watched it? Yeah. But I think cool. my um. I mean, my parents felt like, oh, my, my son's on the internet and he's talking about us. Like, Scary. like in the end, I did say, like, I love my parents and obviously they just, you know, they see cosplay in a certain way and that's just how it is. But I know they love me and I love them. So it wasn't a bad thing. No, it was just a funny it was just comedy. Comedy. That's, yeah. that's all it was yeah. supposed to be. Comedy sketch, yeah. But um, so that's that time. I was like, oh, every line was scripted. Like one line, mm. stop. One line, stop. Yeah. There were so many chops in the videos and now I can't stand that. I can't stand it. It's like, all right, let's just talk. Let's not write the entire script out. It's just... Which is funny to me because, like, that is the exact process that you have to go through with filmmaking. You have to write every line in the script. No, the way you film. You have to, like, set up a shot, film, stop. Move the oh, camera. Oh, really? Film wow. Yeah. I don't think I'd have the patience How do you think movies get made? Oh, to be fair, the last... Uh, WCS entry that was a video yeah, competition. Yeah, you had to yeah, film. Had to yeah, like yeah. That. So, yeah, you set up a certain shot. You film, roll, cut, I, do honestly, it. And if you do the scene a few yeah. times, two times. Okay, After that experience, room. I do have a lot more um, appreciation. appreciation for anyone who is in the film industry because the amount of patience that goes into something like that is crazy. Yeah, the uh, Me and I Melody music video that we just shot two weeks ago, that was during a heat wave as well yeah. uh, in outdoor conditions, like literally a beach, like full sunlight. It was, it was hard to have the patience as well. Like we were using a gimbal and anyone who knows, like works with a gimbal, gimbals just don't play nice. They don't play nice they sometimes. Don't, they just sometimes just don't work or they'll flip around and they just, they're just irritating like, you. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So it requires a lot of patience and a lot of like, because it is still a creative process. You still need to be able to like bypass the kind of frustration that you might feel of being like, oh my God, we need to get the shot. Yeah. It's also meant to be creatively. Okay, remember what, what you're trying to create here. What are you trying to frame? Focus, what, what focus on are, the goal. Yeah, the story that you're telling. Focus on the story. The story and the characters that you're telling. 
So, what was the process of shooting the Me and I Melody? Because is that the first music video you've done? It's not the first music video that I've worked on, but it's the first music video for uh, Melody Parade. That's cool. For the, yeah, for the group. That's going to be like a landmark for you guys as well. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Like we've done like a dance cover version of a music video kind mm. of thing, but this is the first one where we were like full creative control over like obviously the song, the choreography, the costuming, the story, everything. Yeah, it was that- very cool. The, re- the whole reason we were able to do it is because we ran a Kickstarter campaign and that we were able to get that and it funded. it did really well. Which is really rare uh, coming from the, like, so my little <laughs> film, like, what I see at uni, a lot of projects try and get a Kickstarter going and they never get funded, yeah. unfortunately. It's a really hard thing to do. So I think we're really lucky with Melody Parade That's that we were really able cool. to... Thank you yeah, to all the to Melody the Parade Melody Para, stance. Yeah, what do you call community, them? Yeah, uh, the parade. Parade members. Parade members. Yeah, Love yeah. you. Love you. We actually have to... We have to. We have a, a monthly newsletter that goes out. Oh, yeah. Um, and we need to upgrade our uh, website because we've reached the maximum amount. Oh, of, wow. of uh, newsletter members that, that we is have on the free a plan. great problem to have. It is, but it's also like, oh no, do we rebuild the entire website now just so we can fit more people on the mailing list? I mean, list? what's 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 the alternative? Do you have to? Uh, Alternative? Alternative to like, oh, if you don't rebuild the entire website, can you just increase the capacity for the newsletter members? Or? I think you can, yes, but it's like on Wix, and Wix wasn't like the most favorable Platform. website builder from yeah. memory. But I'm I mean, not you can sure. you can pay them a little bit. Yeah, we're month, looking or... into it. We're looking into it. Yeah. But yes, if you'd like to get a monthly newsletter, it is free, and you get the like, cute little updates, and usually a craft or some kind of activity that you can join in on. That's cute. Yeah, what? and you get five percent discount off our big cartel store shop that's online really cool merch shop. What, shop. what kind of uh what kind of activities have been so for uh, like? christmas you could go get make your own melody parade uh christmas tree decorations yeah. so um you could like cut out a little little member oh that's and cute hang it on the tree <laughs> that's really cute i yeah, like that idea. all sorts of little things like that yeah and you might be like jeremy you don't know this you're not a parade member obviously. you can join any time jeremy first ever you, you, would you like to tell the story? You look well, <laughs> look, I'm just going to sit here and bask in the glory of this story. Okay, basically, I've known Mara for a few years now. Like eight years. Eight years? Probably. Look, you were busy with other groups, yes. doing group things. <laughs> um, and you had, uh, I guess, more commitments to worry about when you're managing a dance group and there's like eight of you or something. Nine, yes. Nine of you, yeah. I stand corrected. Yeah. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, you wouldn't have time for all of your fans or friends, whatever it was, whatever you saw me as at the time. Oh, no. Um, and so I've never actually sat... Acquaintances. I barely knew. Maybe I was a level one friend. You're like, I know yeah, of I know that Jeremy. guy. Yeah. He's, he's around Jerry. sometimes. He's, he's that old, no. old dude he's walking He's that guy around. who did MNCC and... MNCC several and, times. Yeah, yeah. And I, knew, now, I knew about you. Yeah, yeah. You know about me because I'm in the same city yeah. in some regards. But... You were doing things I wanted to do. Like what? MNCC and stuff. No, well, MNCC and stuff. Yeah, no. like doing cool big builds, like cosplay stuff and yeah, challenging nothing yourself. Nothing was stopping you. I know. Yeah, you did it. Yeah, I did. I followed in your footsteps. No, you followed your own path. Yeah, but I saw you doing it. I was like, that looks fun. I want to try that. I'm sure and you saw- were like, this isn't fun. <laughs> I'm sure you saw other people doing it too. We're all on this path yeah, of, yeah. of building big things. Yes. But. So we've known each other for, known of each other for a mm-hmm. while, and I saw her previous groups, and I saw her current group, and I've never sat down as an audience member and watched their entire set ever. Ever. He literally came in some to some a secret to live show live after show. having Chinese New Year, Chinese New Year dinner, dinner with my family, with his family, which he could see into the venue from his restaurant. Didn't watch the show, but came in afterwards. I was like, hey guys, didn't pay for great, a ticket great to get show. In. <laughs> I'm there for the moral support. Yeah. He just, Jeremy appears out of nowhere. Like, Yo, Jeremy spawns. I'm like, what? No, where moral did you support? come from? I'm like, guys, great show. Whole time? Great show. Great show. I saw, I saw the show. Like, no, I didn't, but yeah. I, good, good show. But yeah, you've never come. Never, never been never. an idol person. I'm not, I'm not, it's not my... Even though we've been at several, like, conventions together. Several where conventions. I'm doing performance. I know bits and, and pieces of... I know some people here and there and yeah. doing idol things. Mm-hmm. Idol, idol girls are, you know, they're cool. They're cute. So, you know. But I've, I've never been like, yeah, throw a... a what's that? Those light sticks. Pen light. Pen light lights. Stick, yeah. I, I don't... Have, I've, got a, I've got a big one here. <laughs> don't wave that around. You'll land a plane. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I've never sat through an entire performance. Yeah. And then summer party, February 13th. 10th. 10th. I watched their entire set. All three oh. songs. Three? Two. 
all two songs. Ten minutes. Both songs. See, I sat through the entire performance. Hell First yeah, time. Did. It was great. Yep. Review? Review. Uh, look, I think you guys did a did a really good job. Thank you. Did a really good job. Thank you got the crowd going. Yeah. I think we did I, our original. You, the original. Is that it, was yeah, really well a, received by people. Yeah. I did walk into there. Uh, actually, I had two two people walk up. Uh, so I was walking by. Uh, oh, yeah. And they said, it's like, oh, you're from the Just Because podcast. I'm like, oh, oh, thanks for listening. And then I, you know, swapped a few details and I nice. met a few couple people. And they both so said, cool. it's like, yeah. We're here for Melody Parade. Man, you've, That's so I, cool. I met parade members. I met you did. parade members. You did. So yeah, no, it was it was it was it was fun. I'm not wow. a dancer myself. Um, yeah. So I don't really have too much interest in the, the dance part or the idol part. But it's like you know what? Let's go on and have a have a beer with with a mate there who was there as well to support his uh, his girlfriend. Nice. Um, so yeah, we had a had a couple of drinks. I watched your performance sober. It Hell wasn't yeah. there. Okay. And, yeah, it was fine. <laughs> you watched it, but you had to be drunk. No, no I watched it there. That's that's the reason I came along to to support people. Oh, I'm glad so, you came. Yeah. yeah, heck yeah. So um, it was a full circle moment for us because, like, I don't know if you heard it, but last year at summer party, we actually just made the announcement that we were making an original song. She. Yeah. Actually, no. I was MC then. I said, yes, yeah, you were. You guys are dropping oh an, an original song. That was me. I forgot that. Yes. Yeah, me too. Don't worry. <laughs> it's a, it a whole year ago. Yeah, remember, we were like, yeah. we're making an original song. Bye. Bye, Bye guys. And then Check we came back out. the next year. And, you'd and we done did it. the With original With the choreography. Song. And the costume. Did we guys sing it at the same time? No, or? we didn't. Because no. they didn't supply us microphones. Microphones, so. yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's but okay. It was very cool. What's your process of uh, writing music? Do you, do you enjoy that? I enjoy it, but I'm not very good at it. Oh, it's something. something that, no, I, I've, I'm i quite creatively inclined in all areas. I would say I enjoy a variety of creative activities, activities. but music is just the one thing that I think probably through education never really understood, never really cracked how to musically like musically do play things. an instrument no. or read sheet, sheet music because I remember even sitting in like primary school, yep. I can literally clearly picture, oh, I have like very vivid memories of hating music class in like year one and two. Did you have a bad experience that kind of led you towards that? Or? I don't know what it was. I think it was, I literally remember her showing, you know, that when you're learning your the... choir teacher who had white hair no, and no, glasses. No. no, she did have white hair. This was a music teacher and she was teaching the like, what's the simple note called? A simple note. It's just like the one note. Like with a the, single the note. We call, one. It's either called a, like the, just a, it's just a note. Okay, and then the two, how, are we talking how the long? The bar, the with the two, what's that called? <laughs> See, you can can you draw it for me? Yeah, I can draw, draw, draw it for you. me. Your pen, does your pen work? My pen works. Yeah. Why did you scribble? Just this to... one, and then there's this one, and then there's like this one. Yep. Okay. Okay. Quaver, quaver. Um, that's a, like a half note, and then they call that Isn't one. Isn't that a double? Well, oh, when they're filled in when too. Filled in, yeah. filled in. So anyway, I have these vivid memories of the teacher holding those notes up and going like the T ticka ta ta T ticka ta ta T and me sitting there being like, what, what is the going fuck? on? <laughs> <laughs> and like feeling like I just could not grasp it's, the it's concept. Funny. I'm looking at this and, now and like I can't remember the names of the notes. No, quaver. And the minimum. and they're like these. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's but a semi, semi, semi colon. Semi colon. Uh, I don't know, but I, I've, I, it's not like I never tried. Like yeah. I was pretty good with understanding formulas and mathematics, and out, like I loved learning that stuff. But these, I just couldn't get it, and I didn't understand. I'll, the, I'll try the and the teach you this later either. in five minutes. It's it's very easy. Maybe I might have a tantrum, but we'll see. <laughs> I'm that traumatized. No, but it's also because oh, I'm having so many memories now of like music classes. Music was just I liked school, but music was. Sh- so you didn't bad. like it. So oh, bad. Wow. I tried to do percussion. Percussion was my instrument. Yeah, yeah. And so I did dr- like drums yeah. for like eight, nine years. Yeah. Never, never understood. Never got Crazy. it. Crazy. And now I live with Sean, who's a drummer. That's, who just... that's the rhythm section. I know. That's Maybe the... I just can't get rhythm. And I was so jealous that's, of all the that's kids. That's the base of music. I know. And well, rem- do you remember in primary school when you had to like pick an instrument? We had, okay, when I went to primary school grades one to four, yeah. we had the recorder. That was it. Yeah. When I went to my recorder. private all boys school, yeah. then I got to pick a pick, pick yeah. an instrument. Guess what I picked? Electric guitar. guitar. I, wasn't, I wasn't the I cool know. kid, remember? Okay, what did you pick? I picked Piano. the flute. The flute. <laughs> I am, so the Australian Music Education <laughs> the Board. Sick. Yeah. Yeah. 
What? I got to grade six. Did you actually? Grade six I remember out of seeing eight. Those books. After eight was yeah, diploma, so I am I am legally. Do you have one? I'm a flute. Yeah. Not not here. That's in my parents' you place. You can play one. I'm 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 legally allowed to teach teach kids That's with so my cool. qualifications. So. What the hell? I, I I'm I can play flute. Yeah. You should play the flute as Link. I can. Yeah. Uh, that'd be so cool. <laughs> yeah. So I play the flute. Yeah. Um, but I love that. Come on for an idol show. Idol show. I've been going to one of these. Um. <laughs> I was so jealous of all, all the kids who, yeah, like who picked up music, an instrument. Yeah. It's because I got to pick last. Right. And all of the popular instruments got chosen taken. first. If you got to pick your first choice instrument, what would you pick? I wanted to do a violin or saxophone. Mm, I really wanted cool. a saxophone, but no. Well, as I learned... They were all taken. ...is if you play the flute, yeah. the uh, the fingerings for the notes, exactly the same on the saxophone. So uh-huh. I could probably play the saxophone if I learned how to if, play If you want to buy or rent one, who knows yeah, how to get one. I mean, oh just gosh. head down to your local cashies and pick oh, up true, a used one for a hundred. No, but uh, I... I wanted to say my like reasons for hating music so yeah. much is when I was uh, in grade six is when I went over to Austria for a year and I went to school in Austria mm. and uh, in Vienna they have like their school system is quite ahead compared to the like the education what do you call that the, the education board the, the education system the, the, the syllabus co- curriculum curriculum Got is it. uh quite a bit ahead of what we have here in australia what are they teaching uh they were teaching like a whole bunch of complicated Lego. uh like trigonometry and algebra that i hadn't like learned so we learned math trigonometry and algebra okay in, in grade six it was a lot for me I didn't, I didn't, I missed fractions. I didn't know what I was doing. But anyway, <laughs> okay. this, this music okay. class in Austria was the worst, most traumatic. I mean, I'm assuming the European music system is very well ahead. It's like, yep, we are the it's... birthplace of <laughs> Beethoven, Bach, and also Handel. <laughs> what? You didn't even say Mozart. Plus Mozart. <laughs> Tchaikovsky yes, as well. I'm pretty sure Mozart's like one the Austrian, like, they're like, we have him. Shows how much I study my music history back in school. Here's a Mozart Kugel. (laughs) Gotta take you to Salzburg. Gotta take you to Vienna. I'd love to. No, but this music, I think it was the teacher as well. He was just so awful. And like, because my Austrian, my German, sorry, wasn't very good. Mm. I was still learning at the time. He just took it all out of me. He had no patience for me. But they were already learning like, so me not knowing what a that was, they were learning like chords so oh, they would, ooh. and the way that the classes work is a bit more like strict. It's not like a fun Aussie classroom. Yeah. It's like go up to the board and write this chord. Yeah, right. If you don't get it wrong, you get a slap on the wrist. No, what, what, no, no. Just... But like it was like, oh my god, everyone's watching me, and I don't know what this yeah, right, E right, note right. is or anything or anything. So you just like guess. All right, I've got a one in one in eight chance. Which letter? Uh, it's it's an. But it was a? like minor and majors and half, and I don't even know what let, they were doing. Let me give you a half hour music lesson off this, and okay. it'll all make sense. We'll, Maybe. we'll, we'll start I don't, working. I don't know if I'm willing to do that yet. I'm still <laughs> that's, not over that's it. That's okay. I'm still not over it. But no, it got to the point where I think I failed. I flunked my first term. And then they were like, you know what? Just don't sit the test. Just don't sit, just wow. sit there. It was bad. And so, I, it's because I complained. I got to the point where I was like a trouble. <laughs> How old were you? A troublemaker. 10? 11? 10? Yeah. 11? I was still very you're willing still very to You're still very young and very you're willing young. to learn. But, but if, if obviously you have a very bad, bad first experience, teacher. it's going to it's gonna yeah, ruin it. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely did. And this teacher was just... We, we had a choir element to the class as well where we would learn songs. And I don't know if you know that like weird... I don't know what it's called. They're like killing me softly with his... With his t- words. Yeah. That song. And I was like, I hate this song. And I think he heard me. And just from that point. Oh, (laughs) it's like, how dare you? My mother wrote this. Literally. He was so mad. And I was like, I just said I didn't like it, bro. I don't like it. Austrian school was strict. Hardcore. You're not allowed to drink water in class. Water. Water. You're I was about to say, to look, you can't bring alcohol, and I'm like, look, fair no. enough. Not <laughs> even Australia can do that. They They're don't not, stop in some people. I don't but... know if they've changed it now, but I remember you, you have, like, these five to ten minute breaks between your six to eight classes a day where you just drink water, you eat your food, and then you just you gotta put it all away. That's yeah. it. Far out. It's yeah. like, I don't know, is that, like, the school in Spy Family where it's like, yeah, you have to... I haven't watched Spy Family. Oh. Oh, the I'm one sorry. anime I watched last year, which I'd recommend to anybody over the age of yeah, twenty-two. Yeah, but you don't watch anything I recommend. So why I would I watch Puss anything? Boots, the you last did that wish. out of your own accord. I had and nothing I, to do with that. Yeah, and then you were like, "Oh, I told you." And like Maya, you were right. You were right. That's what you want to hear, right? <laughs> 
I'm dissatisfied. <laughs> oh, dear. But no, music is just one of those things that I've always wanted to do. And in high school, I came back to Australia and I was like, you know what? I'm going for it again. I joined the s- s- choir, choir, the choir, and then I upgraded into the what is it, show choir? Show, show choir. Show choir. Yeah, probably. that's like more serious. Yeah, choir. yeah, that's the more serious yeah. choir. Yeah, and because you had to audition to get into right. it, and you had to learn some sheet music. And because I was the last to audition, I just memorized everyone else, and then I copied. Because you have to sing a scale. Right. I didn't know how to sing a scale. You just, just copy everyone else. Yeah, just like... Oh, okay. that, that actually <laughs> in, in year, Fake it till you make it. In year five, <laughs> they... Year five was the first year of yeah. my private law boys' school. Uh, how they kind of roped people in yeah. was every year five kid... Uh, five you, kid. In classes. You, know, yeah. you have your music class, which was compulsory, mm. just for year five. And then it's like, all right, I want everyone to sing this note. Nah, yeah, or something, like right? pitch perfect. And like, if oh. you could just sing on pitch, yeah. they're like, I want you to show up tomorrow, seven o'clock. You didn't know what it was. Yeah. And like, hey, welcome. You made just the quiet. That's it. If someone was like, it's like, sing this. Oh, and they were like, oh, it's like, no, next person. So straight up, it was just like, as long as you could yeah. sing in pitch, it's like, I want yeah. you to be in the choir. Okay. Yeah. So you didn't have to read music. Didn't have to read music. Yeah, well, yeah. you know, you'd have to read it eventually. But, you know, the teacher's <laughs> like, all right, this is how this passage goes. Yeah. Killing me softly <laughs> with this song. Oh, um, it's like cool. I can't listen to that song. Oh, dude, it's don't worry. It's a dumb worry. song. It's, it's an old song. It's, it's like song. about Elvis or something. It's not an Elvis. No, song. who is it? No, no, no. no. It's a woman singing it is about lady seeing singing. Elvis or something or some younger it's, singer. It's, it's called "Killing Me Softly" by um. With his words, singing oh, my life. Name? With it's a song. nice song. No, but it's not. Probably, probably when you had it, it was uh, someone. It's, a bad, it's, it's obviously traumatic. Song. That song. We weren't it's creepy. We're not going to do it. It's fine. It's like, don't it's worry. About, yeah, okay. We're not going to do it. Good. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. Don't we'll... put it on on karaoke ever. I'll be so mad. I'll walk out of the room. <laughs> I will. <laughs> don't worry. It's fine. Yeah. No, don't want that song. No. In the show choir yeah. that I did in high school, we got to do a whole bunch more really, really fun songs. Um, even the audition song, I'll remember fondly. But we like, I'm so glad that I didn't give up on that yeah. and I just kept going. Even though music, I wasn't inclined. I didn't know how to read it. I just, I liked singing. I wanted to keep going. Yeah. We did fun songs like The Love Shack. Yeah, Love you know? Shack. Like, yeah, it was fun. It was just like messing around. But I felt like I got to be part of something with like your seniors as well. Because yeah. you had your like camaraderie there. That's it was cute. cool. It was good. And then I went on to do the musical as well. Oh, in, good on you. Yeah. I'm glad you did those grade things. Grade 11? Grade 11? I, um, yeah. I'll tell you what, I had, a, I had a crush on someone in grade, not in grade 11 as mm, well, actually, mm-hmm. and they did a, the musical at the time was Back to the 80s. Oh, yeah. Back to the 80s. And I think her song that she was singing was, um, oh, what's that song? I just don't like it anymore because obviously it was a song she was saying. Back to the it, 80s. Back to the 80s. It was about... Video killed the radio star. Oh, Video killed the radio star. That was her song. That's a good song. Obviously, at the time, it's like, wow, she's so, so cool. Could her yeah. sing this? Obviously, things didn't work out. So I'm like, yeah, no, don't like that song. I Just in general, 80s was not my favourite time period of music. Oh, I love okay. the 90s. Yeah. But if you're like, yeah, I love the 80s, I'm like, yeah, look, this isn't this isn't going to work. What about the 50s and 60s? I quite like them. 50s, 60s, okay. 70s. Yeah. My, my, I think my, when I was a kid, my dad kind of listened to that radio. Yeah, yeah. So I've got some fond memories of those ones. Mm. But 80s... No, I agree. No, I don't do know. I wouldn't do know. I don't group my songs by by, by decade. Year, decade. Some no. people are really. There's good There's some at that. songs that might be from the '80s that I have no idea, like the "Carry On My Wayward Son." That song. Possibly. From like, yeah, I yeah. feel like that might be an yeah. '80s song. But um, it's good. I oh, think... I guess '80s is like Stranger Things, right? Yeah. Like all those um, the yeah. Kate Hill. Kate, Kate Bush. Kate Bush. Running up that hill. Yeah, that yeah. would. Is that '80s? Quite possibly. Yeah. See, I don't like that song. So. <laughs> A th- similar vibe as the killing I, I think... me softly with his song. <laughs> there's, there's just a lot of songs. I think whenever I went to karaoke, yeah, uh, back in my very early weeb days, I'm talking 2006, seven. Yeah, right? there's the same 20 songs that every Aussie will sing, yeah. and a lot of them are 80s, and I'm so sick of them. Mm. I'm so. But apart from that, it's all right. What, what are like the top 20 karaoke songs that you would sing with the drunk Aussie? Right, it'd be um, my humps. My humps. <laughs> it'd be the killers. <laughs> It'd be Wonderwall. Wonderwall. It'll be. It'll be. Um, What's the bring the funeral? The bring me to life by Evanescence. That, um, Lincoln Park. Um, What's the Panic song? Panic at the Disco. The, yeah, pretty much. There, there's two. Panic. There's two songs which everyone knows. The that wedding I don't know the one. 
Which one? The wedding one. The wedding one. Oh, chimed in. How many people have ever heard of closing the curtains? We're going to get a copyright or... strike now. No, it's good. No, we had one coffee today, all right? We've got... We've got um, I said we're going to get a copyright strike copyright from strike. singing. If our if our singing is on pitch, <laughs> if it's on pitch... Oh, it's, if it's on pitch. It's oh, on pitch. Man. Actually, one video I did make was like a guitar cover, just mm. pure guitar. You've done a few of those. I've done a few. One of them got a copyright strike. Yeah, it And I'm happens. like, wow. Well, if anything, I was flattered. Because it yeah. meant they're like, wow, it sounds so much like the original yeah. that it got copyrighted. So my, my other ones didn't get struck. I have a funny story, actually. Go, tell me. Okay, uh, speaking of copyright strikes, guess what happened at Summer Party? What happened? So Melody prayed, well, like, we usually stream on Instagram, but how about this time, let's try streaming on TikTok, because we've just had a, a big boom in followers on TikTok. Yeah. Maybe our audience will, like, prefer to see it over there. We'll stream on TikTok. So, yep, intro song goes well. It's live. We're live. Yep. We do Iris, we do Realize, goes well. Halfway into our original song, guess what happens? It gets taken down because of copyright taken down That's crazy! Our own song, we got copyrighted! Your own song! Yeah. That's wild! Yes, yeah. our distribution platform is working way too hard. <laughs> it's working, it's working way well. Too hard. No, we're signed, we're like, we're signed up to a local Brisbane distribution company because yeah. you need to, to be able to uh, put your stuff on Spotify. Um, so I that, didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like similar to the distro bean. Well, what's it called? Podbean. 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 Our, our podcast distribution platform yeah. is called Podbean. Podbean. I'm paying 20 it's about it, it varies. Like some days nineteen dollars, oh, some days of the twenty-two for the version, rates. right? Yeah, yep, it's about yeah. twelve US dollars or something. Yeah, thirteen dollars. Yeah. So I think we're with DistroKid. We no, no, no. We Distro were Kid? with Distro. No, we were considering DistroKid, but we had some really negative feedback from that from another local artist. So right. we signed up with Gyro Streams, Gyro Streams, who are based here in Brisbane. Um, yeah. Good experience so far. Well, apart from that. You guys are working too ruined well. Our, ruined our TikTok stream. <laughs> but no, they've, they've been great otherwise. Their uh, office flooded recently. So. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Right. You know, Brisbane things. Just Brisbane things. Just Brisbane things. They like the streaming, so they wanted a stream in their office. Good Get on it? you. That's great. I like it. Oh, oh I just I just got it. Streaming. Streaming. Like a stream of water. <laughs> She's getting good at these puns. Flooded. She's getting good. I tried. She's, you're doing well. <laughs> you're doing well. Yeah, I remember you telling me actually very early on. You're yeah. like, oh, I'm just... Because just, we were talking about public speaking. Yeah. Right. Today. Today. I said, my, how are you with public speaking? With me now, I'm very comfortable because mm. I've been doing it for a while now. And your panels are really good. Oh, I always note I'm that you your like panels it. at cons, I'm always like, he's so comfortable. He's just so chill. It's chill. Whereas yeah. you see so many people like, freak out being a panel. Yeah. Well, that's just, it's just, you know, public speaking. <laughs> yeah. Whatever it is. I think now I really enjoy it. Mm. But, um, so I said to Mai, I was like, well, how about you? Because if we, uh, we're looking to go down to Smash this year. We are. I am. We're looking I'll, to I'll be there no matter what. <laughs> I uh, booked my tickets already. <laughs> you're early. Or I haven't. I haven't. We have to pay for tickets this year. Really? Probably. Oh, yeah. We, yeah. No, we had, to, we had to pay for... No, I did a panel at Smash last yeah. year. Let's try to do another panel. Do some public speaking. Yeah. And maybe we can get a ticket. Why do you not think I'm good at public speaking? No, because I asked you. It's like, okay. well, what, do you, what do you feel like? Yeah. And you're like, oh, I don't know. Maybe sometimes I want to want to say something and maybe it's funny. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Do you... I don't know. Do you fun... Well, you're seeing fun on I this think, podcast. I not that we're live, right? I know, but it's also like bouncing off someone, bouncing off you is yeah. much easier than standing up on my own or with people I've never talked to before. Yeah, right. So I've done two panels or three technically, but two of them at Akacon and those were like mainly po like cosplay related questions. Right. And I found that like what I was talking about, I didn't know if that was like the most valuable thing that I could talk about on that <laughs> stage. I just felt like I put a lot of pressure on myself to be like, okay, I have to give the audience as much valuable information so that they're like, feel like they've walked away with something really valuable yep. today and then they go home and think oh wow learned this really cool thing today or like i feel really motivated to go do this now you know what i mean like yeah. i don't want to just be like look at me i'm this like i want to give them something to walk away and do something themselves did you like doing panels i do i do like doing panels mm. yeah absolutely and like you have to do a lot of public speaking as an idol as well like every concert you do you yeah. usually have an mc that goes along with it and in that you also have to make sure you're kind of like Talking, talking, saying the right things, saying, or right saying things that you want to say yeah. about your group. But I feel like it's something that I could definitely always work on and oh, get better always at. Always room for improvement. doesn't matter how good you are at anything, really. Yeah. There's always rooms like, you know, I'm going to do better. Do better. Happy with myself, but I'm going to do better. Yeah. Or like learn different ways of doing things. Or It's really learning how to communicate better, which is a skill that everyone could learn. Everyone can learn to communicate better. I think the thing I don't like, especially, we're well, saying this again earlier today, I'm talking about people who are a bit older, in their set in their ways, and they say, "Oh, 
can't teach an old dog new tricks, or that's just the way I am. No, you're not! You're never too old to learn something, and if, you, if your excuse for being, I don't know, bad at talking to people, or you, I don't know, have this weird way of talking to people that might come across as rude, and you say, oh, that's just how I... No, it's not! No, it's not. That's just you being too lazy or to stubborn. work on yourself. Or stubborn. Stubborn, yeah. It's never too late yeah. to, to work on yourself. So I feel like everyone's got that inner child who really just wants... That has a cu- yeah. inner curiosity inner and curiosity. Like, desire for deeper understanding of, and connections and belonging. I think so, I too. Think, I don't think there's any adults who don't have that. Like, yeah. And, you know, I think there might be this weird defensive mechanism where it's like, oh, no, I don't, I don't have that. I'm, I'm grown up now. I don't need it, anyone. It's more like the world's beating it out of you by like, yeah, get a job, get married, get a house. And that's what it means to be an adult. You don't have time for these, these shenanigans of cosplay. Any, no, you don't. No. Even on that extreme, like, it doesn't have to be that extreme, but it's, like, knowing how to communicate to others. Like, if your friends come up to you and, like, would you like to do a group cosplay with me? And, of course, you want to, like, be mm. included in that, but maybe you need to communicate, like, look, I'm not really good in group settings. I, like, I prefer to do my own thing. Like, yeah. knowing how to say that nicely and without coming across, like, no. <laughs> You know, there's a difference of being like, oh, look, I'd love to, but I actually don't feel, you know. Yeah, I think it's learning ways of like learning ways of because everyone being always a you always have to constantly communicate. You do about everything. You do. As otherwise, conflict forms. That's exactly right. About the littlest right. things. It's not just about like the big like societal societal you know, like, <laughs> rites things. of passages in life, yeah. but it's also about on the daily you have to daily. be able to communicate well. I don't know. I, I think about a lot is something like when you're lining up for a coffee and you're waiting in line with someone or like getting groceries or something. Like, do you talk to the cashier? Uh, I do. Yeah. I do. Yeah. All right, well, I'll put it this way. If they look like... It's the thing. You read people. If I read, like, I say hi, they say hi, and, you know, they might look me in the eye and ask how my day is straight up. It's like, oh, they're starting the conversation. Or if someone's standing there, they look bored out of their brains... You know, I'll say something. I'll be like, I don't know, slow day. It was like, dude, what's the what's the coolest thing that's happened today? Sometimes they're just not into it. It's like, oh, nothing. I'm like, that's cool. But sometimes it sounds like, oh, you know, what's the coolest thing that's happened today? And they'll be like, someone's talking to me? Wow! Literally, literally, yeah. though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it's such an important little thing that we might not value is that, like, yeah, you could just ignore people in your day to day, or it's like the opportunity to connect, and you're like, you often feel a lot better and a little bit less lonely. I, feel I think like. so too. Yeah. Just kind of striking up random conversations with random people. Mm. You don't know where it's going to lead. You don't know what's going to happen. Maybe that's an extrovert thing, though. I'm not an extrovert, though. Are you not? I'm an introvert. As if anyone would believe that. I am an introvert. You want to see me your Maya, Maya Briggs, Briggs personality test? test? I'm an I NFJ or something? Mine changed. It, I am horrified. It does it change. Changed. Look, hey, after this episode, we'll do one. We'll reveal the next no, episode. No, I literally did one, like, oh. last week. Well, let's but, do okay, one. I'll just reveal Maybe it. this week. What, what are you now? Know. What are you? Are you an I used to be an ENFP. Now? And I needed to be an ENFP to fit in Melody Parade because everyone in Melody Parade is either an INFP or an ENFP. And now that I'm not an ENFP, I can't be in Melody Parade anymore. Is that what the star Even sign said? Citrus Plus, Patty is an ENFP. And now I'm different and I don't like... It and I don't even remember it because it was like ENTJ slash What's D wrong or something. With being different. Because I think it went from perceiving to judgmental, and I don't like oh, that. Oh right! I don't like that. <laughs> oh, you're a judgmental person. Apparently, I am Apparently now. You are. Better watch I don't out. Know. Maya's watching you with those I'm, judgmental eyes. I don't want eyes. to be. I don't want to be. Well, this is where we I'd like to perceive. self-reflect. And we improve it by Thanks, bit, huh? Jeremy. We're doing you're doing good you're doing a good job. Don't worry. Yeah. Don't worry what your star don't, don't worry. worry. Don't mm-hmm. worry, worry about what your star sign says. I like my star sign. Leave it alone. It's doing a good job. My Pisces You're the same as me! It's probably the reason we get along so well. You two can't Pisces. diss the Pisces. Two fish in a fish pond. They get along well. It's in the star signs. Pisceans make good friends. There we go. Apparently. I haven't read the Pisces. Pisces Why thing. not? It's fascinating. I read Pisces Scorpio. That's one I get told every week. Well, Kill this Scorpio. So I get told about that. That's also what Mitch and I are. It, it usually says, well, look, it says you get along in these particular ways, mm. right? Right. But also says, oh, the Pisces is going to bring this to the table. Scorpio is going to bring this to the table. This is where you're going to clash. This is where you're going to gel. Um, 
Read your horoscopes today, fellas. Let us know what Cosplay the cool thing. Cosplay horoscopes. Cosplay Yahoo. horoscopes. I find mine to be shockingly accurate. Well, so I'm signed up to a weekly weekly newsletter. horoscope. Yeah, yeah, no, weekly, monthly, weekly. It's weekly. It's mm. by CoStar, and literally last last week or the week before, it was like you're gonna have a massive conflict in your family, and it's gonna reshape the way your relationships go moving forward. Yep. What massive happened? fight with my sister. Massive fight, massive falling out. We've reached a resolution now, and I feel a lot more deeper connected to her than I did before. It's just weirdly accurate how, like, we don't normally have big fights like that. Mm. Like, that's, it was weird that it was like, yep, yeah, that's, that's exactly it. Well, typically, that's the only time you change as a person, is when something happens, and you're forced to kind of look at a situation or, you know, react to a situation in a particular way. Absolutely. That's going to really kind of test where you're at, right? Yeah. Because yeah. if you just have a whole comfortable lifestyle like you know i'm good on you but you're not gonna yeah. evolve or grow as a person if you don't challenge mm. get, you know have those challenges or ups and downs in your life so yeah not that Even, not that no, having no. a fight is a, is a good no, thing no. not at all but oh it can be absolutely it can bring a resolution or conflict usually leads to a like greater understanding greater understanding which which is hopefully, hopefully what, what yeah. it's like all it's the what time. the goal of it i think that's what the purpose of it is it's clashes happen yeah what's gonna happen after we clash we're we gonna break or are we going to you know what like there's ways to avoid it obviously with like better communication skills but yeah and now you, you no. you've come to the you've met in the middle or mm. you've, you've come to understanding it with each other or maybe so. someone did a wrong and they need to apologize and then you can move on it's oh. like who knows every conflict Man. is t- tailored but i wanted to add like mm. you said to go through like change and everything i saw this really beautiful uh film project where it was like the message of it was they were showing like new stuffed animals and like really beloved old ones and it was kind of the message of it was to be loved is to be changed it's kind of that look of like usually you see an old ragged soft toy and you're like ew but it's been changed but it's because it's been loved so much it's kind of like a nice concept to see that like is that a your quote or is it something you found somewhere that's the, that that was the message in the in the film project yeah. to be loved is, is to, to change is, is to, to be, be changed. changed yeah yeah wow isn't that cool i just hope that that change comes from like, within typically yeah. well it, it's it's like Change doesn't always have to come from a bad place. It can be a, a positive, loving a positive place thing, as well. Yeah. yeah, and that well, it's shaped who you are as a person because you've received love or support yeah. from, from anyone, from a family member, from a lover, from cool. a partner. Yeah, to be changed. What a ride this this week's episode's been. We've gone from I know we I don't know where we started, but then we went somewhere into music, then we went into horoscopes, then we went into. Life That's philosophies a, featuring you know, featuring marmalade calls. Look, this, we we had a whole list of notes here to be about this about TikTok. about TikTok. But you know what? We got so swept up in in what in life talk, just in, because just because just because That's what this podcast is about. And just because you're here. Yeah, you don't know where this podcast is going, and neither do we. We're just, <laughs> well, we're, we're trying to guide it as best as we can. But look, I think it's a it's an, a good problem to have mm. in when you've got lots to talk about or. In, in our case, we've got lots to talk about, and I guess for the purpose of the podcast anyway, it's, it's good because, like, oh, it's, it's not, not, not difficult to have something new to talk about because it just keeps popping up from yeah. here or there. Yeah. I think it's because we're both curious about the world. We're not, like, closed off. Closed off. We're kind of like, ooh, look at this thing. This ooh, look at that. I wonder why they do that. It's nice just being able to, and, and be brave enough to go and explore it. Mm-hmm. Rather than be like, oh, I don't know if I can do that. I'm not I don't know if do I it. can say that. No, I don't no, know if I, I can talk about it. my evil music teacher from Australia. From Australia, what was the name? <laughs> oh, God, I don't remember. No, we're, 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 Herr Doctor, Herr... Herr, Herr Doctor. Herr Schmidt, I don't know. What's the most German yeah. thing you can... Like, Austrian or German so, you speak? I, I remember my, my uh, math teacher's name because she scared the shit out of me. Germans. Frau, love, you, love you. Frau Professor Doctor Gampaling. Frau Professor Dr. Gumpling. She was Mrs. Professor Dr. Gumpling. Gumpling. Do you know how many, like, pr- like what are they called? Prefixes, Prefixes before your name? I think she had a PhD. She was crazy. Frau Professor Dr. Dr. Gumpling. Gumpling. Gum. Gum. Do I have to say it, like, angrily? Like, gumpling. No. <laughs> she was so scary. Was she a good teacher? No. Oh. Yes. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I was say, it's like, if she was scary and a bad teacher, I'm like, how's she got a career? She's good. <laughs> she was very good. Did you learn? It's like, you're going to shove this math down your throat. I learned. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's funny having teachers like that, because there was a... um, All boys school. Obviously, this guy's going to play up. But certain classes you went into dead silence the entire time mm. because and it wasn't as if the the 
the guy was, it was usually the older male teachers. Yeah. It wasn't if they were going to yell at you, but you knew the repercussions if you did kind of go out of line. And they were they were like super strict. Like what? I, um, for you example, get a chair thrown at were, you. They were, no, no, not like that. But there were, there were two teachers in particular. Yeah. Um, one was. Uh, I remember teachers throwing chairs out windows in my school. <laughs> It seems a bit much. It's so bad. What? They like they couldn't threaten the kids with anything. So like, what? You're not allowed to these days. Not anymore. allowed to, but it's threaten them with my anger management. What did, what did you? I don't know. What but, did they do I, well, to keep them in line? Well, the, the funny thing is, it was just. I guess they knew What's their the repu- their reputation for yeah. one. Um, they were just talking to them very mm. strictly, very firmly, mm-hmm. and sometimes it'd be like a slow escalation in, in vocal tonality. But for the most part, it was just a very silent burn that you just didn't want to kind of experience. It was, okay. it was the Italian teacher, okay. who was fittingly, and the health teacher. Um, and both of them were just like, oh, you know, if something was wrong, uh, if someone tried to crack a joke, someone was out of line or you know, speaking up over someone, just they wouldn't say anything. They'd just like look at you. And then as soon as you caught their eyes, like you, out, they're just like detention, like straight off. Oh, scary. It was just like, okay, yeah. What was his name, the Italian teacher? Um, Schiavo. Or, Schiavo. Okay. Great guy. Yeah. He's, he's a really good dude um, when he's not being super strict. But it was just, yeah. it was weird because whenever they did crack a joke or did do something, you know, heartwarming or funny, you're like, that's actually funny, but I'm not sure if I'm allowed to laugh kind of thing. But Schiavo, great teacher. Great teacher. He's my mm. soccer coach for a while. Oh, cute. Um, yeah. Really strict, but he was so good. He was yeah. so good, um, but such a strict teacher. But obviously, if you're a good student, it's like, yeah, yeah, you. But any, any <laughs> oh, if he liked you, if he didn't, yeah, kind of. Yeah, thing. but yeah. I, I enjoyed his um his teaching because mm. he was. I, I learned Italian. Did you? I wasn't I very also good. Also did that. Italian for seven years. Bellissimo. Signor Ferranti. Signor that, Ferranti. S- that, that was his Ferrante? name. Him. Sen- Signor. Signor. Signor Ferranti. Signor. Look, I just got off Spanish classes with Antonio Banderas from yeah. Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, best nice. movie of the year. But that was it came out last year, didn't it? End of last year. End of last year. Does that count as last year's films? Yeah. Boxing Day. 26th of Perfect. December. It's the masterpiece. Go watch it. it Go is. watch it again. Masterpiece. Yeah. It is. I know. I struggle with Italian because what I learned, I also have like English, German, and now Japanese in my head. Trying to le- like remember any Italian is useless. Good. Oh, wow. Crazy. So how many languages can you speak? Only like two fluently. English and German. Yeah. But I'm trying to learn Japanese and surrounded by Japanese and like Going well for you so far? Ah, I wouldn't say so. I've got a. I need to go to actual classes or like invest in a yeah, tutor. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the same. I've yeah. got I've got the proficiency of a three year old when it comes to Chinese Mandarin. Uh, and sure, sure. Sure, I can do a bit more than that. That's yeah. a that's a that's a that's a two month old. Okay, right? I think I can say that me. much. Um, and then Japanese, I've done two years of it, maybe three years, mm. but, but it gets blended so, together so so much with the characters Chinese. characters are the same, right? Characters are the yeah. same. Similar meanings, different pronunciations. Oh, gosh. So it's... Uh, yeah, every time I'm on Taobao, I'm like, I think that... Nope, that's not what that means. But they have also got Japanese listings on Taobao as well. So I'm like, so you're like, I can read bits and pieces of that. No, I can't. No. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Now, mm. would you believe it? We've talked for an hour mm-hmm. on... Nothing that we were supposed to be talking about. Look, it's That's been fine. it's been a good catch up I'm session. Back. She's back, everybody. Now she's actually got university starting next week. Yeah. So this, I want to share with you our plan. We we talked about this over lunch. Transparency. Transparency. So we actually don't know how much spare time Maya's going to have in the next while. You might be like, why is Maya know. so busy? Look, she's a busy lady. She's running. It's like Jeremy. What are you doing most of the time? Look. Now I'm making videos, all right? Yeah, you are. Now I'm, I'm working a You're bit more. You're doing great. I'm, you know, doing my things. Yeah. And um, I'm. you might be like, oh, where's your cosplay? What are you making? I haven't been making much. No, we're just preparing for Japan. That's Japan, that's priority. kind of our priority. After that, it's, it's like, I don't know. First. I don't know, really know what we're doing. I don't know what Probably I'm doing yes. otherwise with, with cosplay, really. Yeah. Am I that's making fine. stuff, maybe? Am I playing music? Yes. Am I... God, writing music and recording music. I've yeah. been talking about recording stuff. It's really cool. Heck yeah. Give you a 10 you minute do a music podcast lesson. Later. Episode we got a about podcast. That. I'm gonna tr- this is like my contribution to my cosplay as best as I can, is trying to keep up to date with this thing. But um That's fine. That yeah. There's no pressure. No pressure. But I'm excited to get into next week's episode. Well, it will be released next week, but we will actually be recording this. This right we're gonna, gonna do it. It's called TikTok. Cosplayers and TikTok. 
What's that about? I wanted to call it Cosplay TikTok Sucks. Cosplay TikTok Sucks. We'll see what it ends up being called. We'll see what it ends up being called. We, that was supposed to be this episode, but we ended up just going on a it's tangent fine. for a It'll be next time. Next episode. Week. So we We've got you don't mind waiting content. a week yeah, for, for a new episode. Another one. But there will be a new episode featuring both of us. Yeah. I'm not leaving for a little bit. While I am busy, I want to make sure that we have time to at least like pre-plan ahead to make sure that we have enough enough content. That's going to be released Enough podcast every episodes week. to release every week. Yeah. We're going to do it. Don't worry. We don't, we don't want to miss any more weeks. We've done it once. Twice. Yeah, we've done it twice now. We missed the start of the year and then the one just before my solo one. Yeah. No more. No more. No. We've had enough. The reason I've been away, though, is because Melody Parade is quite demanding as uh, an idol group. As an idol group? It's, it's, I wouldn't know. I know. I love it, but it's quite demanding. It takes up a lot of time, but I do enjoy investing time into it, especially when I am costume making for Melody Parade. It does take up even more time, so I do like to dedicate a, as much as I can to it, but I've also been working a lot with my new job and then uni as well, so yeah, and then, of course, I just like to live my life and go to the beach sometimes. Because, just walk around and look at ducks. Yeah. I love that. And swans. Yeah, swans. absolutely. But that's the reason why I've been so busy. <laughs> well, this is a project which is 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 fun. I, I enjoy yeah, it, but it's absolutely. not going to be something that's you know going to be always your top priority because I know you've definitely got other things to do, and that's fine. So I'm we'll, not not upset. Right. We live yeah. our life to the live fullest life. so that we can die on our deathbeds and say, "Hey, you know what? Regrets. I'm happy I did these." Be things. like, God, I wish I did more. God, I wish I'd been true to myself and sometimes like god i wish i did less there's gonna be sometimes which you're Honestly. gonna be like yeah you would be like wow you know what i pushed myself so hard for that was it worth it yeah i, know, I wish i took the time to smell the roses more I wish i took the I time to but feed i the usually ducks do more. look i'm telling you i usually do uh up until now my degree i've always done three units at a time so mm. that i have time to smell the roses and, and this time enter wcs you're doing but four? this year i am doing four because i need to finish my degree by the end of the year and graduate because otherwise i'll be left with like two or three odd units and literally one or two units and that's not enough to do a full semester yeah, with for me so right. i need to buckle Smash up my hand down, study and make some cool films this make year some cool films excited and to walk see away that. with a degree Yay! and some robes and a hat and a i don't know what uh, you get a hat you throw it a, 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 a scroll it's it's a roll scroll. like this just you know two coffee cups big maybe three can't wait that'd be great you can can't put on your mantelpiece or put it yeah. up. Put I'm it sure there's a lot of other viewers who will also be graduating this graduating. year. So let's buckle up go get for it, our fam. final year Go of uni. get it. Get it. Even what? if you're on your first or second year of uni, go get it. Work what? hard this year. You can still enjoy your life and do other things while being at uni. There's no reason that your life has to begin after you finish uni. Yeah. I find so many people are like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like, you do you now. Do it now. Do it I'm, now. I'm <laughs> gonna bring that up at the next episode. <laughs> okay. University and it's like, oh, this is taking all point. I'm, I'm gonna have a warning for you. Very Morning. stern one. Oh, I'm not gonna. Right. I'm not gonna be like her Freden maiden. You already uh, forgot it. Frau Doctor. Frau Professor. Frau Professor Doctor. Frau Professor Doctor Gumpling. 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 Don't worry. I won't be like that. But okay. I will uh, do it out of love. Let's, anyway, that's it for this episode. Right? It is. Let's that's wrap it. it here. Let's wrap it up. Thank you for joining Thanks us for joining this us. week and spending an hour of your time listening to us. If we're in the background of your con crunching, we hope you made lots of good progress yeah. on whatever you're working Go on. Go for it. Yeah, because the conventions are coming. Conventions They're are coming. coming. They're, They're coming, coming for you. They're coming. You better be ready. Yeah. All right. We'll catch you in next week's next episode. Week episode. And make sure you're subscribed to the channel and like this video if you liked it because it helps boost it, helps it into the algorithm, algorithm. Of, of the socials. Of socials. Yeah. Which we're going to talk about next too. So we don't will. Worry. It's good. Okay. okay. All right. Bye. See bye. Ya. bye.